Welcome to Philip Futures Weekly Market Watch. I'm Chung Kit, Business Development Dealer with Philip Futures. Recently, MAS has classified futures and forex products as specific investment products and has introduced new guidelines for trading these SIPs. Investors need to be qualified under Customer Account Review CAR, in order to trade futures. If you have not met your CAR criteria, you will need to pass an SGX online test in order to qualify to trade futures. If you have not met your Customer Knowledge Assessment CKA, requirements, you will not be qualified to trade Forex. However, you may still consider other alternative investment tools such as futures currencies which are offered and traded on Chicago Merchandise Exchange. The trading of futures products comes with several advantages like transparency and reliability. All futures products are exchange traded which means they are guaranteed by the respective exchanges on which the product is traded. As these products are traded globally on worldwide exchanges, they enjoy higher liquidity. The Chicago Merchandise Exchange, for example, offer various currency futures with different contract sizes for trading. These contract sizes are standardized across several currency pairs. The contract size for one lot of regular currency is $100,000 to $125,000. These contracts are usually suitable for more experienced traders who are ready to take higher risks. Retail investors with a comparatively lower risk appetite may consider the mini forex currency, which are only half the size of regular contracts, or the micro currency futures, which are only one ten in size. Investors who have decided to venture into currency futures may need to take note of some key characteristics of futures trading, like the expiry date, the first notice day, the last trading day, and also the liquidity of the products. For example, when a contract is nearing expiry date, its liquidity tends to dry up. Therefore, if you are a short-term investor, you may find futures trading more suitable to your trading profile, as compared to a long-term investor who tend to hold their position for more than a few months. Thank you for watching and tune in next week.